starting the mock up for the air compressor after cooler. Whoa, that's really big. I've gone ahead and I've got this fresh paint all ground off. I'm about to pull the motor off because I don't want to weld spatter on it. This is going to sit, I'm thinking, up like that, maybe down like that, but it's going to be fairly high just to get a lot of airflow. And I don't want the motor stopping a bunch, but any extra airflow, if it goes over to the compressor head, it'd be fine because there is, you know, the hottest part of the head not cooled by its fan. I don't know. I got some angle iron I'm about to weld up here or tack weld it. And I've got my center line. There it is. Center line is marked on the uh, angle iron. And it's just one inch angle, nothing major. I think it should be all right. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. Hope it works. I'm gonna add on that much. This is nine inches, this piece is, so this is a foot. I think that should be pretty good. Now for some welding. Don't those welds look awful? Like, truly. Bleh. I'm not a welder, if you can't tell. And, see my gap? Come on, focus. See my gap right there? Yeah, I didn't even think about tacking there before I made that solid. And it's the way I, that way on both sides. <sighs> so much for this being square. Don't let something that you can't do well stop you from doing it at all. This is starting to take shape. So that is 12 inches, that vertical is 22 inches. My cooler is 11 inches tall, motor is eight and a half. I figure the cooler can overlap the top of the motor for about half an inch. It'll blow across the capacitors, no big deal. And I want the air to go that way so that it's gonna blow into the head, hopefully cool that off. Also, maybe, cool the incoming line off some I doubt much but some maybe anyway it's gonna be going in the in the oil cooler it's gonna I'm gonna mount another vertical piece right here and then I'm gonna have two horizontal mounts so far my welds are not great I mean regardless this piece is it's stable and it's, it's plumb, both this way and that way. For the first time, this is mocked up, actually hanging. I've got my uprights welded. These crossbars will be bolted. And then I've got my fan I'm gonna put on. So it's starting to shape up. All right, so I've got this mocked up. I got real lucky with this fan. This is just a, a cheapo eBay fan, but the mounts were, they were close enough that it's not putting a lot of pressure on. It's just splaying out just a hair. Um, but now I've got to figure out what to do with the bottom. I already tried to put them on, but as you see, there's quite a bit of difference. I can do it, but man, does it tweak that fan. So, and it is super tight right here. Not a lot of space between the after cooler and that big capacitor. So I've switched. This is now my input side. So I've just got to come out of there and come over here. Stay away from the belt. But uh, that'll be the input now. The exhaust will be over here, it'll come down. I've got to mount a, uh, a water filter. That water filter is set so that when the, the air pressure shuts off, then it opens up the drain and lets any, any water out. So basically, this whole thing will be depressurized while the air compressor is not running. So all that line goes through the unloader valve. So that means every time the air compressor shuts off, it will drain the, the filter and then all should be good. I've just got to figure out 
how I'm going to mount it. Because there's no bracket for it. You know, that's what happens when you pay like $15 for a filter. I now have my Harbor Freight filter mounted. I just went ahead and made a mount for it out of aluminum. Had to notch it right there. That's not straight. I've got a little leak there. Um, I'll actually, I'll get some flexible pipe for that. This, you see, just kind of wraps around. That's not gonna stay like that. It's it's mocked up for now just to get this working and see what I can do. I don't have a, a pipe bender large enough, so I gotta borrow one. That'll be later. It's my flex pipe, it comes straight out of the head. That's a half inch pipe there. That's not a half inch outlet I thought it was. Oh well, so I had to do an adapter. And then it comes and does a very hard bend into there. I scratched up the paint on the motor a little bit when I was putting it on, but obviously as you can see it's not on it now. So this is not rubbing. I've got... All this is not nice and tidy yet. Anyway, so this is my my 220 to 12 volt adapter which is powered by my pressure switch so it comes out of here I flip on the air compressor it flips on the fan and there's the other side of it so it's getting some air cooling right there granted that's the hot side so it's not as much cooling and there's actually too much air in the tank to even show you so I'll let you see from this side, when I flip on the switch, the air compressor comes on, so does the fan. It begins cooling immediately as the, the hot air go, starts going in. On top of the air dryer, I've got an automatic drain at the bottom of the tank. So this is it. It is a Suburban Moisture Minder. Had to make a bracket. So this side is just out here just so it blows the air. I'll route it somewhere else. This line goes down. So this is a part of their stuff. This is old. Before I had the after cooler in, notice I was still getting some rust. There's where I actually drained my tank after it sat for a while. So even though this thing is draining constantly, it was still getting a little bit of moisture in there. Um, and I think the problem was it wasn't actually condensating. Um, it was just holding in there and, and just being very humid air. So notice there's even a little bit of rust at the bottom of that where the rusty waters come out um, I've had this running for a while now and this is a manual drain valve on top of being automatic the air is now completely dry um, I don't have a, a moisture analyzer, but from what I can see of using the air, it is much drier. Once I fix some plumbing on this, this will be a thousand times better. But the fact that this is working so well over on this side, it's very hot. If it runs for much more than two or three minutes, I'm unable to even touch that side. But yet I can put my hand right here and then this is the outlet and it's it's cold this pipe is very cold the more air you use the colder that gets it feels like it gets somewhere around room temperature or colder so i'm very happy with this once i fix the piping but i'm very happy with how this all turned out